Hi guys, Caleb here with PS4Blast.com and today we're going to be doing our video review on the game Anode for Xbox Live. Um, Anode is a puzzle type game a la Tetris. So it's uh, very much a Tetris clone in a lot of ways with some slight variation on how it plays and everything. Um, it can be found on Xbox Live for the $3.99 price point, which is really fair. Um, and I guess let's just jump into the game a little bit. Um, when you hop in, you see you're handed Tetris-like blocking, but with it, um, there's a color attached to each square in the blocking, and you need to connect, I believe it is four of the specified color, and then you will generate a explosion. And there's several other things like um, <clears throat> with these metal blocks, you can connect those sideways and then it'll feed through two different colors and connect them as a whole. So like Tetris, you need to fill the blocks, but a little more interesting with this is you need to actually focus on color as well as shape fitting. So it's uh, honestly a little more difficult than your standard Tetris. Um, but overall, really fun. Um, there's two game modes. You can play offline, you can play offline. Currently we're in mission is what we're doing. Um, <clears throat> so gameplay, gameplay I gave it a B minus. Um, and more so just because we've seen this before. It's Tetris. It's nothing unique and stand apart on its own. It does have its own variations, but at heart, it's the same type of puzzler game you're used to. Um, but it's pretty fun um, and a little bit different enough that I, I think it's... I mean, for three ninety nine, dollars I mean, it's a great game. So the gameplay is really solid. There's no glitching, nothing like that. Um, so yeah, B- minus on gameplay... Um, graphically, I, I gave it a B. I mean, I think it's really pretty. Uh, I, I mean, there, there's not much graphically you can do with this type of puzzle game. But I, I think for what it is, the graphics are just superb. And it looks good. The explosions are neat. Um, the UI is friendly. And it, it kind of reminds me of... Um, Geometry Wars and its menu type systems and all that too, which I just loved. So, um, graphically, I think it stands on its own, especially for being 399 again. Um, sounds, sounds, I gave it a B plus. I enjoy the sounds. I think the sounds really fit in with the game uh, really well. They're kind of like a total recallish kind of sound, but yeah, they fit in really well. The explosions sound good. It, when you set stuff down. I mean, everything sound-wise is incredibly solid on this, so I don't think there's a bad thing I could say about that. Um, overall, I gave it a total score of a B. Um, it's nothing, like I said, we haven't seen before, but at the price point and the level of fun that comes with it, I don't see a reason to not use it whatsoever. So, um, yep. Got a B, um, probably the lowest price title we've had that's gotten a B, but there's definitely value there. Um, especially if you like puzzle games or just something cheap to play with your friends, I think this is probably a pretty decent title to pick up. So, um, other than that, we'll go into a little bit more gameplay, but yeah, we're just playing through mission, trying to get through. It takes a little bit most of the time, but, um, it's not too hard. It does get rather challenging towards the latter parts of the mission because things start building up and it's really hard, unlike Tetris, to really catch up if you've messed up. As you can see, I've had, I have all these uh, put through metal pieces on the end of mine and there's not really a good way to get rid of those at this point. Um, you do get some items later on and power-ups that'll help you destroy things of certain colors and all that too. Um, so it's not like you're entirely boned. But... Uh, 
And uh, overall, I think that's about it, guys. We have a couple more reviews on tap this week with Blood Erasers, and we have um, Breach and Clear Deadline coming soon as well. I know Pete and Scott are working on some stuff. I apologize, I was on vacation the last week and a half, so I'm kind of playing catch-up myself. Um, but we're looking to get back into the swing of things and really get going with it. Um, if you have any user requests on anything, let me know. Um, we have a lot of titles that we all have that we don't always get and do reviews on, so if there's something you all would like to see as a community, let me know and I'll gladly do one. Um, as long as I have it in my library, which is fairly extensive. So, other than that, guys, um, that's really all I have for you. So, um, we'll see you next time. And again, this is Caleb with PS4Blast.com. My gamer tag is Balks13. If you don't have me on Xbox, go add me. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.